Yes people, hope everyone is good. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to cook up melodic trap beats for D-Block Europe in FL Studio. This one's gonna be lit as always, make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new around here and you like this type of content, what you guys doing man? Come and join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway, enough talking, come and join me on my screen and let's get straight into the cook up. Crazy. Welcome to the video. Like I say, today we're going for a melodic trap beat for D-Block Europe. This one's going to be a vibe. As always, I'm going to be giving you guys some real nice tips and tricks, especially when it comes to the drums. But let's waste no time. We're going to get straight into this one. You know the vibe. I've cut up three melodies off camera. What we're going to do, I'm going to run through these melodies one by one and I'll show you what we're working with. For the first melody, we actually jumped into Omnisphere and we went over and grabbed the In Memoriam 1 preset. For the effects, I've just got this half time. I've also got this EQ taking out some lows and highs. I've also got this fruity chorus. And lastly, I just went with a simple fruity reverb two on this one. For this beat, we're working in 136 BPM and I'm over in D sharp minor. This is the pattern that we came up with. For the second melody, we actually jumped into Arcade. We went over to the Drip folder and um, we ended up using this Royalty preset. For the effects on this one, once again, we've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs and I've actually raised a few mids as well. And I also went with this Vintage Valhalla Reverb. We've got the 1980s preset on it and the mix turned down to 30%. Real simple pattern, but this is what we came up with for that. And for the final melody, we actually stayed in Arcade once again. However, this time we went over to the hook section. Most of the people know already, this section's fire when it comes to vocal chops. And we went over and grabbed the Together preset. For the effects, similar to the last one, we've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs. And I've also got this regular vintage Valhalla this time with the mix turned down to around 27%. This is the pattern that we have for that one. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. That's sounding nice, it's sounding real vibey. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna waste no time. We're gonna start adding in some drums. So first off, I'm gonna start with a hi-hat. You know the vibe, straight into the clockwork midi kit as well. We're just gonna speed this one up a little bit. That's sounding nice. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna start layering in some percussion. So I'm gonna grab a clap, a few snares, maybe a few perks as well. And I'm just gonna get the bounds going. So let's see what we can come up with.
So we've got a nice sort of pattern on the go. I've actually got a clap blade with a main snare and we've got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty space in the beat and basically it just adds to the bounce a whole lot more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. <laughs> Hey, that is sounding clean. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna waste no time once again. We're gonna get straight into the 808. <laughs> Ooh, that is sounding nice. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna add in a kick and we're gonna make the 808 punch a little bit harder. That's sounding nasty. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rearrange this into a full beat. So we've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've added in a few different effects out of my kit. And um, what this does is basically just lets a listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar. We've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well. This just adds to the tension of the beat and stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on. And finally, I've added in my tag in there as well. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen. Hey, <laughs> nice little breakdown, and then straight back in. This one is sounding too sick. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SevereProd to keep up date with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.